My name is John Mark Brand. I am 18 years old. I was born in Kansas City, Kansas, but for most of my life, I've lived in Dallas, Texas, and so I consider myself a proud Texan. When I first discovered that there are political parties in America, I considered myself a Republican because I believe they were the party of family values and of Christian values, because at the time, that's what they were, like when John McCain and Mitt Romney. When Donald Trump won the election, I changed my affiliation to um, Democrat from Republican, but then I realized I did not believe everything that the Democratic Party stood for, and so I decided to register as an independent when I got my voter ID. I did not know who Donald Trump was until he decided to run as president for the United States. I didn't keep up much with him in 2016 because I was too young to vote at that time, but the few things that I did hear about Donald Trump made me think, this guy is a kook, he'll never be our president, such as wanting to ban Muslims from entering the United States. And this really infuriated me because I've been to 20 countries, including Muslim countries, and all the Muslims I've met are some of the most hospitable, kind people I've ever met. When Donald Trump actually became president of the United States, I was um, obviously very disappointed, but I thought, who knows, maybe he'll learn how to be president, and maybe he'll learn from his mistakes. But he never has. When I talk to many of my evangelical brothers and sisters, they say things like, well, we're not electing a pastor, we're electing a president. I'm like, well, then there's your problem. We aren't holding people in authority over us to high moral standards anymore. Because of this, the Republican Party chose a brothel house owner and a self-proclaimed Holocaust denier one time as legitimate Republican candidates. How did we get this far? Simple. We lowered our standards and what we expect in leaders. After all, we're not electing pastors. Don't get me wrong. It's not that I expect everyone in Congress and in authority over us to be a Christian, but I at least want a person that is a decent human being. And I can't say Trump is one. The other reason why I cannot support Donald Trump in this election is because of how Donald Trump has made it harder to evangelize to non-believers. The reason for this is because evangelicals have identified so closely with Donald Trump, and it's like they've made politics their second religion. The reason why I know this as a fact is because I know a young missionary to Germany, and she can confirm this. You see, for those of you who don't know, Germany is a very secular and liberal country, and its capital, Berlin, is known as the atheist capital of the world. My friend is also involved in street evangelism, in the atheist capital, Berlin. And when she talks to the average liberal German, and when she tells them that she's a Christian and evangelical and from the South, the first thing that Germans ask her is, so do you support Donald Trump? I mean, for real, when you're a young street evangelist who wants to minister to people, you want to be asked questions like, who is Jesus? How can I know him personally? How do I know I'll go to heaven when I die? Not whether you support a certain political candidate or a president or not. This is the consequence because evangelicals have identified so closely with Donald Trump and have refused to criticize him no matter what he does. Now, I understand why many evangelicals voted for Donald Trump because I can't say Hillary Clinton was a better option. However, in the 2020 election, we have a better option and his name is Joe Biden. Now, if there was a real conservative that had chance to beat Donald Trump, I would vote for him instead but the problem is the Republican Party is completely backing up Donald Trump. And so in the 2020 election, I'm sorry, but I just can't bring myself to vote for the Republican Party this year.